We often get a lot of customers, both DIY and professionals, that are looking to minimize the amount of passes they run across the hole to save time and money. Follow along in today's video, we'll show you how we do it. Hey guys, Michael here with Marine Detail Supply Tampa Bay. Today we're at Port 32 working on a 30 foot cobia and doing a little bit of a wash and wax or what, what I call a an easy two-step. Um, today's video is all about trying to minimize the passes that you do, but also making sure that you do the job correctly. This customer called in and they, they have a fairly new boat. I think this boat's probably maybe a year old, but it's got some water spots, some dock rash. You can see some hole staining on the, on the bottom. And he called me, he's like, yeah, we just wanna wash and wax. So I explained to him, usually we don't just wax boats. You know, we have to clean the hole before we can apply the polymer. Otherwise, we're pretty much just clogging up the pores and sealing in dirt. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a two-step process using just one machine. We're gonna use the Rupes 21 and two different pads. We've got a Lake Country uh, Blue HDO and a Lake Country CCS pad that we're gonna apply our sealant with. Um, we're also going to go ahead and venom this boat before we do anything, just to get all these water spots off, some of the hole stains. So let's dive right into it. What you wanna do is take your microfiber or your wash mitt, take some venom, and you're pretty much gonna put a little bit of venom on here and pretty much wash the whole hole down with the venom. The venom is gonna remove any contaminants, salt, water spots, rust stains, any of, this, any of the stuff you don't really want on the hole before we actually start polishing. The venom will go a long way too, so you can spread it out probably across almost the entire hole side, or like halfway, and then it should reload. Put a little bit on, wipe it on. Now we're gonna let this sit probably about three to five minutes. A couple things you, you want to consider when using venom. You don't want to use this on any sort of mirrored glass. It does have acid in it and it will eat off the tint on the outside. So be careful. It actually says it on the label. We've had a couple customers accidentally use it and uh, messes everybody's day up. So be careful with that. It's great for these hole stains down here in the bow. I'll get rid of all these. You might have to let it sit, but works really well. If you get some stubborn spots, just put some more venom on there. Let it sit. We're doing one hole side at a time. Then we'll let that sit. Now, venom and wash mitt or microfiber both will work now we're going to let this sit for three minutes and then go ahead and just rinse it off <laughs> after we go ahead and wash it down then we need to go ahead and dry the boat sun already got most of this side dry or just the, the temperature outside here got this dry but i'm going to just wipe down any extra water spots Alrighty, so now that we got our hole pretty much dried, venomed, all the water spots decontaminated, we're gonna go ahead and use our 21 millimeter long throw Rupes machine with Lake Country Blue HDO six and a half inch. Gotta center this up and we're gonna use Elevate. This is gonna cut out any surface scratches, any swirls, take out some of these, these dark rash marks. Instead of going over it with a rotary, then hitting with a 21 and then following up with a sealant, you're, we're cutting out one step with this combination. Um, this is a finishing compound. It's got a light abrasive in it, so it's gonna do a really good job on kind of cutting that oxidation out and any dirt that's on the surface. So go ahead and load your pad up and let's get to it. Put our pad on here. See how I got a little bit of wobble there in the pad? You can see if you don't center these, pads perfectly you'll get a little bit of vibration on the machine so make sure you take the, the circle that's on the rupes here 
I line it up with the circle on the, the pad and it's gotta be 100% perfect or you'll get some wobble and vibrations. Perfect, centered up. What you wanna make sure is that when you're using this machine, you're letting it spin and get in its normal action there. If you're pushing down on an angle, you're not letting it spin, it's not actually doing what it's supposed to do. So make sure you're paying attention to that when you're using the machine. I'm about a, a three here. You really don't need any more for this boat, it's pretty new. And then once you, you get done with this section, just wipe it down. You can work in arm length sections. That'll be good. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with elevate, run through this whole side of the hole, reload as needed, follow along, do a little time lapse, and then we'll get to waxing. Alrighty, now that we are finished with Elevate, we're gonna move to our black CCS pad. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. This is Hyperhold. I just have it in a different bottle. And the way you use these CCS pads is you fill up these dots, load it up with some sealant of your choice. Today we're gonna to use Hyperhold. And then the idea behind this is that it carries the product Cross, releasing it as you go. And we'll just run through this whole hole, apply it with the machine, take it off by hand, super easy. For those of you guys that are using um, applying by hand and taking off by hand, that's all well, but this is a much easier, faster method um, to run this machine with the CCS pad on here. And then to take it off, you can take off the pad. Just go ahead and take a towel, center it up. And you can go ahead and take off the, the wax this way. have it on speed one. It's a super efficient way of taking it off. Anywhere I miss, I just take this back over it, wipe it down. That's it. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. We went through decontamination with Venom, went through Elevate with our Rupes 21 in a six and a half inch HDO blue. And then we went right into our polymer sealant hyperhold with our CCS pad. And this hole came out really nice. I mean, remember this wasn't a full on detail. Like we could definitely get more detailed. There's a bunch of DA scratches in here from the factory. There's some dock rash that's a little bit deeper but you gotta remember, set the expectation with your customer, see what they're willing to spend. Um, we charged about you know, 600, 650 bucks to do just the outside of the hole with a two-step. So um, make sure you're, you're charging accordingly for the services that you're doing. And uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram or you can go ahead, drop a comment below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you got any sort of value out of it. We really appreciate it. Um, you guys have shown us a lot of support in the past and it helps us to keep continuing to push out this content for you. So please uh, give that thumbs up button and hit the share if uh, you, know, you wanna send it to anybody that could use this sort of uh, help or encouragement. I'm Michael with uh, Marine Detail Supply. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.